Hello, my lovely beautiful soul. Welcome to you guys. Timeless pick a card. For this pick a card, we are going to take a look at the next truth that will be revealed to you. Surprisingly or not. But the next truth, the thing that you need to know that is unknown to you that is happening or events going on you know in that kind of a way we will take a look at it but first let me introduce myself my name is Noraima from the Phoenix Star if you are new to the channel hi a welcome I'm thankful you found me if you like the vibration don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video and if you're already part of the fam the growing tribe love thank for that you're back again fam so yeah we are going to take a look at the next truth to be revealed to you um you have three piles or three decks to choose from the first deck we have the light seer sterile for the second deck we have the Paulina tarot and for the third deck we have the Sasurai Bito tarot so breathe in breathe out I will give you guys 30 seconds to meditate and contemplate on the cards you will hear three high pitched notes just to oomph you up and I will see you at the deck that you have chosen it might be one two three whatever deck that is pulling you in go with that one how much you want you know there is no wrong or right way to do this I will see you at the deck that you have chosen So, my lovely beautiful pal one, you guys have chosen the um, Light Sears Tarot deck. Let's take a look at the next truth that will be revealed to you. Um, I want to start with, I want to start, I don't know, but I'm getting to, I will start with the tarot first. Okay, I will start with the tarot first. Let's see for you guys, my lovely, beautiful pal one. What is the next truth that will be revealed to you? Let's see. What is the next truth for the good for harm to none that will be revealed to pal one? Let's see. What is the truth that will be revealed to them? Underneath the deck, you have the hermit. So you have the wheel of fortune in reverse. I would like so. Together with the lovers in reverse. Okay. Then you have the eight of wands also in reverse together with the high priestess upright okay so what i'm getting for you guys my lovely beautiful pal uh one the truth that's going to be revealed has something to do with the partnership now this can be in business we'll take a look at where this situation is later on with the oracles but i'm really seeing like when it comes to you the truth that will be revealed has to do with the communication with a partnership that is something that will suddenly change you and it doesn't change for the better. It's changing for the worse. Like there might be a, an ending of communication for some of you happening. Or there's suddenly a dark cloud in, in, in how things is happening uh, when it comes to this partnership. Now, if you are looking at this in the period that there is a mercury retrograde it really is going to play a big role when it comes to communication for you guys so watch out for that um, what 
watch out for your words so how you say things because it can come across to that other person in question or another partnership whatever this is of two persons communicating it can be really um, um, harsh truth coming out for some of you the truth coming out will come from a person a partnership that you have and that person isn't bringing a good news to you yeah nope they not mm -mm, they will be truthful and and it can be harsh feelings for you but this is something that your intuition your higher self has been telling you you for a while now that there's something fishy happening or something isn't lining up with this situation so let's take a look at some oracle let's see because i want to see more about where this is going where this is happening in your life also so let's see what do we need to know more about this truth mm. underneath the deck you have um candidates you will receive a news from afar hmm Okay, you have um, for your oracle card, the Herlequin, true feelings are being masked, like so, together with the serpent, a sly and subtle approach is needed. Together with the spider, be meticulous and patient okay and then you have the oracle seek wisdom and guidance from elders okay my love listen the truth that is going to be revealed is something that was hidden for you and once this truth come out um really don't don't react quickly to it watch it from a distance don't let people re see your emotions right away because lots of times if somebody come finally have the courage to show themselves or their mask is cracking you know you are starting to see people for who they are or they are trying to be vulnerable showing their vulnerable side like by you reacting fast they can retreat back you know or you can say something that you don't mean to say keep in mind it can come out different than you mean especially if you are in a period of a mercury retrograde so looking at the herlequin true feelings are being masked together with the serpent a slay approach is needed like really be strategic in how you are going to handle this truth is what i'm getting for you guys and if this truth come out and you don't know what to do with it ask somebody an elder somebody that has more knowledge and wisdom about this situation somebody that has already been through this ask them for help like how did you um approach this what did you do with this situation because they can help you out then to what to do next so you will not make the mistakes that they have made i really see um that this situation that this truth that is going to come out for you is somebody uh, I don't know, but I live near the playground. So if you hear a child scream or children scream, it's because I live near the playground, y'all. But back to you guys. Um, that I do see that this truth that is coming out has nothing to do with you, but is totally on that other person's side showing their self the true nature who they really are so don't take it personal whatever they are coming towards this is something of a pro partnership they might tell you like oh i am not the person that you were talking talking to i'm totally different like you might feel betrayed because of that or it can be for some of you a communication with a partner that be like no i don't see myself doing that business anymore like there is something of this isn't going as planned it's not it's like a, i'm getting like a, the energy of it's stop it's stop a moment there is a stop Oh, wait a minute like really it's giving me the energy of before we continue before we move forward i have to tell you the truth i have to have a clean slate 
be so that you can move on in whatever choice you make in that kind of a way there is a communication that needs to happen but when it happens when the truth reveals itself your reaction you need to really like step back before you react you know even if you are mad <laughs> you really need to be like okay wait a minute before i react too fast let me just take a pause a moment let me process this let me ask my guides my spiritual team my higher self for more knowledge and wisdom of the situation because you don't want to flip uh, to at people for telling the truth you know it's actually a nice thing to see people um showing you actually what the reality is so let's see um where this is happening for you guys so you have the fourth house uh, i mean the imunculi roots so that's the foundation how you've been brought up together with capricorn achieve okay perhaps you guys some of you will have um a capricorn fourth house or you have um sagittarius um, i mean um Saturn in your fourth house or Saturn is transiting your fourth house whatever that it is at this moment this has something to do with how you've been brought up the root the foundation you know and how you want to be seen the seen in the world I'm really getting for some of you the truth will come out in who you are or who that person is and how the world is seeing them because these two are really across each other like the the capricorn sign is the natural ruler of the 10th house the 10th house is across the fourth house is how you want to be seen in the world how the spotlight is really on on you in this world and the imum kuli is where how you've been brought up the the foundation the root of where you come from so i really see for you guys that this person the the roots their foundation is something that they want to reveal to you or the roots of whatever this situation is with you guys uh, your foundation there is something that needs to be revealed a truth that needs to be said a, a reality that needs to be seen clarity of all of this so that you can move forward and be who you really are or this this um relationship can be what it really is especially if you have a relationship that is in a public eye it's giving me that there is lots of work that needs to be done in 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 the household in the private uh behind closed door because people are seeing you guys like beautiful where there is trouble in the foundation and you cannot only act beautiful outside if the roots is rotten so this person might give you a totally different idea of how they have been brought up than what really is for some of them they perhaps want to show you their vulnerability on how their culture is how they have been brought up some of you they want to like really um show you their their um nurturing side but for that they have to be vulnerable instead of really the, the 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 person of being very dedicated and persistent and the portraying of the outer world because this is totally two different energy the one is behind closed door and the one is how people are seeing you so if this is a person a partnership that you have been they have show you this they want to show you the vulnerable side also who is behind the man and it's not that pretty y'all so don't react too fast on them or or in a way that they will retreat once again and be like no i will not show you that side because it's a side it's a vulnerable side to them so you really need to really have a slay approach to this situation it's not a pretty side it's a very a vulnerable side but they don't want um they don't want to that you will be like oh um find that they are petty for have have 
have to go through that or you know some people just don't like to feel like oh um people are pitying me or in that kind of a way no they want to have that communication but only if they if you can just see it in a way that you are not like um, because it's in Dutch and I'm trying to say like they are sad kind of a way. Oh, what a, what a sad kind of a person is that, you know? No, they want to remain the image that they have tried to build their whole life to be seen like this. But they want to be with you vulnerable. But with that, it means that they really have to stop time and ask themselves, can I be vulnerable with you? Can I show you a side of me that isn't that pretty, isn't that nice? You know, listen to your intuition when you react to this. Let's see. Oh, okay. This one also. Let's see. What do you need to know more about this situation? You have Apple. Temptations will test you. Together with Tulip, great passion. Together with the month July. And then you have Stork. News of birth or new business opportunity. Together with rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Okay, for some of you. And then we have purse. Pay attention to your finance. Okay, my love. Listen, for some of you, this has something to do with their that with their sexuality, with with um um their passion, the their um you know, they're, they're lost, they're wanting in that kind of a way, you know, yeah, it's, it can be that somebody will show you the wanting that they are yearning for, but that they perhaps, I'm sorry, I had to sneeze <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> the yearning that they, <laughs> they, they have for you, um, and but perhaps the concern is more of how will you react to their yearnings, you know? For some of you, this can be um, that your partnership in business might think that, oh, this isn't going to be fruitful. This They have concern about um, how to financially pay for this, this situation that they perhaps have told you that they are invested in, you know, that you come to figure out that if you have a partnership, that they be like, oh, wait a minute, um, I cannot go on with that deal because it's going to take a lot of me. And, you know, it, they didn't figure out that it will take more from them for this to be fruitful. But you will find a new way. Don't worry about that. So, um, for some of you, if this person comes at you in a, because I'm really getting like in their feelings, their yearnings, you need to really step back before you accept their deals because it can be a temptation. You know, it can be like, oh, finally, you know, I, I can show my feelings to you and it can, it, it can wind you up. You know, we all have that moment that it's like, oh my God. <laughs> that sounds good you know that that's that's a great deal you know but what will it take from you in that kind of a way so for some of you this is somebody in partnership that you have met in the month of july or something of a contract that you had in the month or a communication you had in the month of july now this person is going to show more of themselves and that can be in a way that is kind of a lustful, a lustful way. But they are holding that tight though, because they have been sitting on it for a long time. Whatever this is, they have sitting on it for a long time before they reveal it. And it's kind of like a volcano is what I'm getting right now, that it's now 
erupting, you know, you can hold a portray, you can hold an image for as long, you know, but curiosity, that, that temptation is coming out whenever it comes out. You cannot, you cannot fool somebody, you can fool somebody for so long, you know, <laughs> and right now it's like, no, I cannot hold it anymore in that kind of way. But watch out for the temptation because this person, what, whatever they are going to reveal, listen to your intuition. Don't react too fast on it. Don't take the offer too fast. Just think and see, is this really where I want to be? Is this really going to help me to go where I want to go? Because you don't want to invest in something that later on come to be, it will not be fruitful. It was just the temptation. Okay. So listen to your higher self when this truth come out. But this is something of a dark hidden secret of the other person. It can be your partner in business, partner in family, partner in um, um, love. In that kind of way, there is a communication happening. There is kind of a darkness, the dark side. It's something that you didn't see. It's rooted within them. In that kind of a way. So I do hope I could have helped you guys. My lovely beautiful pal one. And I will see you on another pal. Or in another uh, reading of mine. Bye bye. So my lovely beautiful pal too you guys have chosen the paulina tarot deck we are going to take a look at what is the truth that's going to be revealed to you next let's see the next truth to be revealed to you my lovely beautiful deck too let's ask my guides your guides all that has the be best interest for us harm to none uh what is the next truth to be revealed to pow to what is the next truth to be revealed to pow to one more please thank you underneath the deck you have the ten of wands so I will take this one in reverse because it's leaning more on the oomph. So you have, let me put it like so and so. So you have my lovely, beautiful uh, deck two. You have um, the page of pentacles in reverse together with the knight of wands, together with the wheel of fortune and the ace of swords. So the truth that is going to be revealed to you, um, the wheels are going to turn. You will have an idea where things are going to be for the better, but you need to take action on it right away, okay, with this with this situation. Like the page of pentacles being in reverse is the slowest page there is, y'all. Yeah. Uh, the page of cups is the, uh, the one that is the slowest, but those two are the slowest, y'all. Yeah. But right now, looking at the knight of wands, things are going to happen faster than how they used to be. By happening faster, that means communication is happening fast. Passion, action must happen fast, okay? So it's kind of like, okay, the wheels are turning. We, we, we we have fast paced move now you know it started like you know when you start to run on the hamster wheel it started slow but once you go fast it's like duh, 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 you know in that kind of way that is the truth that's going to happen for you guys whatever this truth is when it comes out you need to take action you need to communicate more because things are happening fast okay this can happen in your life um, with your passion we will see in which part part of your life things are going to happen fast so yeah let's take a look at um where no not where let's take a look further um the truth that is going to be revealed to you let's see the next truth that is going to be revealed to you my lovely beautiful that too let's see where you can see this truth one more please uh, that's two more but we're taking them so you have the wolf beware who you trust 
okay together with the seer follow your intuition and then you have the spirit unseen forces watch over you always a good thing together with the minstrel let your intentions be known let's see and then you have the griffin honor and good luck okay i do hope you guys can see it like so so my lovely beautiful let me put this one like this then it's more clear and this one like so uh one moment yeah you guys know everything has to be in a certain ways with me y'all so yeah back to you guys <laughs> so um what i'm seeing for you guys what you need to know the truth that's going to be revealed as i said things are going to happen fast for you there are lots of great offers but with every offer with every action that you take with every adventure that you go because people are going to communicate with you uh, ideas are coming towards you you know offers are coming in whatever of passionately thing like if you are traveling for example you are going for your passion and action you are traveling let's just say you are a backpacker along the way you will meet other people but not everybody has a great intentions for you and that's what i'm trying to say you really need to look you are protected you are protected but yet still for you to to really catch up fast and quick with who has their uh, great intentions for you and who not you need to continue using your intuition because it will be a pity that this is going to happen so fast and you have invested too much in somebody that isn't wanting you to move for forward that is holding you stuck while this hype is going on in your life see it as you hitting the hitting the kind of a vibe viral situation like if you hang too much on on something then you lose the wave y'all so it's kind of like okay we are moving fast we are going so continue like really continue moving your feet you know like the hamster wheel like you really have to continue go with it otherwise you will be catch into the wheel and you will then <laughs> go like have you ever seen somebody like go with the with the speed of it all because they couldn't catch up or couldn't keep up with how the wheel is turning we will not do we don't want that okay so you really need to use your intuition really see who are the person that really are coming towards you can you trust them yes or no but whatever this is my love the truth that is coming to become to uh, is going to be revealed to you is that there is luck there is luck going coming your way and all the thing only thing that you need to do is let your intentions know let your ideas know work with them start do something take take action on them you know don't hold on too tight on that idea do something with it okay the moment you start do something with it um the wheels will turn whatever idea you have if you want to move if you want to um, um go travel you know whatever that is i will shuffle one more time this one wasn't okay let's see one card okay guess what you have more than that <laughs> so yeah let's see where this is all happening for you you have a uh, debilitated discomfort together with uranus change together with libra balance and then you have capricorn achieve honey this has something to do with your passion 
with how you want to be known into this world, the thing that you want to achieve into this world. But honey, as I said, looking at the debilitated discomfort, like the, the worst thing is that you need to get out of your comfortable zone where, where, where you know like you don't fit in that box anymore. You, you have to move out. You have to look for partners. You, if this is business, friendship, whatever that it is, you need to collaborate with other people so you can achieve what you want to achieve in life looking at the Capricorn but there is definitely a sudden boom hit change happening I don't know where Uranus is in your chart look where the Uranus is transiting in your chart or where Uranus is in your natal chart because that can be that there is something that's going to suddenly change um, what is happening with Uranus in that kind of a way for example for me uranus is in my seventh house you know the seventh house is ruled by libra so yeah it's transiting in my seventh house so that might be that suddenly french uh, uh, partnership is happening but it is something of oh um for you guys something of oh this is how I used to do things and now that the wheels are turning, the wheels are suddenly turning, sudden change is happening and it's asking of you to act, take action, go with that idea, go with the communication. So that is what you need to understand that this truth is asking of you to, as soon as it comes, go with it. Keep in mind, if you don't move your feet in the wheel, you will then go like this. And it will then happen to you <laughs> instead of you being also in it. You know, if it goes fast and you don't have the grip of it, just continue going with it. Go with it. You know, lots of times you will hear from people that became famous suddenly out of nowhere like that they are becoming known into the world because capricorn is the natural ruler of the 10th house the 10th house is house is how you want to be seen in the world you know in that kind of a way well some people be like oh i did not expect it it's like um overnight success is what i'm getting from my guides like it's an overnight success and you wake up it's like oh my god the wheels are turning and you need to quickly react like start running with it you know and and sometimes people that are suddenly famous they will like really um you will stumble sometimes you will then cannot catch up with how the wheels so fast that the wheels are turning and you will be like um like a water in a bucket <laughs> and they will just go with you if you turn a water in a bucket like if you turn it around like gravity will will push that um water in the bucket so tight that it will not get out because it's going so fast that it's the pressure will let it be that it will remain in the bucket but it's not going with the bucket it's not like i don't know how to explain it but you know what i'm trying to say like you cannot catch up with the hype with the with the amount of action energy but yet still you are yet still in the wheel so you will they will take you to where you want to go now go back to the example that i was giving like people that suddenly became famous they will say to you oh my god that was like really i don't even remember what had happened between this time and this time because it all went so fast that it's like oh i have to i have to perform here i have to perform there I, you are constantly on the road and you are doing this you are doing this they will lose track of time and that is what i'm getting for you guys so yes it is something that you really need to know the balance in your life because things are happening fast ideas communication suddenly boom 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 but yet still it is out of your comfortable zone so you might get anxiety you might trust other people that you shouldn't trust or communicate with people that you'll be like oh i read or not you know so really and in this fastness in this truth that's being revealed to you your guys your spiritual team is saying honey it's happening for you not to you things are happening fast and quick just like i'm communicating right now very fast and quick you know it's the energy so so go with me y'all 
but you are being watched over okay only thing they are asking of you for you to have less hardy campaign it is better to trust your intuition with every people every person that come across and wants to communicate with you don't trust blindly on people just follow your intuition what is it saying to you and you will see that this will be beautiful okay let's see for your tea leaves let's see uh, I don't know how many. Uh, one more, please. Always if I ask one more, I will have more. So let's see. One flipped. One flipped. I saw it. <laughs> I got one. They'll be like, it's not always. We, we, we listen. Every time you say one, we show you one. Why are you, why you fronting? <laughs> so yeah. They'll be like, don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> So you have bouquet, compliments from an admirer, that can be everybody and the mama that is looking at you, together with hand, in need of help, assistance and guidance, you, you, you need them, ask for help, okay, because you will have it busy if you this is something with business because looking at the tenth house is how you want to be known into this world and people are it's too much ask for help ask ask for people to help you out with packages if you have things to ship you know whatever that is like if you don't know something ask for help but when you ask for help look first what is your intuition telling you I'm sorry on my voice what is your intuition telling you about that person okay then you have target a goal orientated person this can be you keeping your eye on the goal okay and then you have moon changes in your life honey this is two time two times the change card uranus is also talking about change so definitely a change and then you have disappointment in a friend or a lover as your last card now this disappointment it's okay it's okay because yeah you your life is changing and that's the thing that lots of time why people want stuff to remain the same because they know that if their life change their circumstances the people their surroundings that don't want to grow with them uh, will be left behind um i don't know I suddenly stumble upon this TikTok. It was today even. I don't know who that is. I just, was it a TikTok or YouTube? I don't even know anymore. But I don't even know about who she was talking about. But she was talking about a famous TikToker that had, oh, this is kind of like your reading, yes. That ha had an overnight success kind of a thing. And that the family was... Um, and she was like, I will not go to Hollywood without my family. So she go with her whole family. That was kind of a really a tight family together. Went then to Hollywood. And being there, th the whole family dynamic has changed. Yeah. You know, parents got divorced and stuff like that. I don't know. But that's the, the thing that I've heard she was talking about. Now. The reason why I getting that image from my guys, my spiritual team is to tell you looking at disappointment in a friend or a lover, like oftentimes we want to take everybody with us on our new vibration, our new discoverment. But if that person is mentally or physically or emotionally or spiritually not there on that vibration, they will feel feel a kind of a type of a way because they will feel or left outside in the cold or not being understood or think you are acting bougie like you have changed it's because they are not on that frequency with you so yes then you have to realize oh i'll be there you were not supposed to go with me on my new vibration. That is the reason why we are having a discomfort right now. Because where I'm going, where my guys, my spiritual team is taking me on this new chapter in my life, this change, I am totally a different person. So yes, you will have people that you will be disappointed of. But 
as I said, be aware who you trust in this situation right here. Even if you are asking for help and you'll be like, oh, that's that's somebody that I know for a long time. For a long time, what has been your intuition been telling you about that person for a long time? Because don't think that because you are now doing it, they are also, like you can be, it can be your brother, your sister, your niece, your cousin, your mother, your father, whomever. Like there is a kind of energy that you know, like, okay we are tied together but what i'm doing what i want to achieve i know that you is you are you and i are, are not on that vibration together so if you know already that your um your bond with that person isn't that tight or isn't somebody you can really 100 percent uh, count on don't, do you think it will while you hit big it will change or it will be worse it will be worse, worse. How do you say that in English? You know, English is not my first, neither my second job. So, but whatever this is, there are other people that will compliment you, that will admire you. You only thing you need to do is uh, keep your eye on the goal, on your target. And yes, there is discomfort when it comes to certain people. And also, if things are getting too much, you know, you have to ask for help. Not only that, the truth that's going to be revealed to you is that your success is not other people's success. Your view of seeing the world will not be how other people view the world. So watch out for that. Listen to your intuition. Don't trust everybody and just enjoy this process, this new fast change that is going to come your way. Keep things in balance. Continue communicating with your guys, your spiritual team. That being said, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys on another reading of mine. Bye-bye. So, my lovely, beautiful um, deck two, three, my bad. Deck three, you guys have chosen the Sasurai Bito Tarot. Let's take a look at um, the next truth to be revealed to you. The next truth to be revealed to you, my lovely, beautiful um, deck three. And let's see. Let's ask my guides, your guides. All that has the best interest for us, harm to none, the next truth to be revealed through you. Let's see. For pile three, the next truth to be revealed. What can you expect for the truth that's going to be revealed to you? Let's see one more, please. Underneath the deck, you have the Ace of Wands. So I will take this one like so, and then so. So for the next truth to be revealed, you have the Queen of Swords, like so. The Queen of Swords, together with the Magician, together with the Four of Pentacles, and then you have the moon in reverse. Wow. This is definitely the truth. I love it. I like it. Because the moon in reverse, that's like really um, the truth being revealed to you. Exactly how this, this message is. And the queen of swords, that's my bitch, y'all. That's my bitch. She, she sees the truth for what it is. And... Uh, cut people's mask off so she can see like oh so this this is you i guess you know you are manifesting the truth things that are hidden to you to finally be shown people that are holding too tight on uh whatever that it is the resources things that you know like this isn't this isn't right it will be shown to you like if pe it, it, because i'm really getting with the four of pentacles it's giving me like somebody is holding something too much towards them fear of um showing 
what they have kind of a way fear of showing their resources or fear of sharing their resources but you are going to find out uh, what their resources is if it is emotional physically whatever that it is like financially like what is it that they are holding so tight on that they are afraid to show you you will you are going to manifest that you will see the truth coming your way and if you see the truth don't be afraid to see it because the queen of swords is somebody that will not shy away from the truth it's like so that is what it is that is what it is you know so let's see what is child <laughs> harlequin true feelings are being masked but we will talk about it. This one came out for another pile also. Um, the next truth to be revealed to you. Let's see. The next truth to be revealed to you. My lovely beautiful. This one like. So. My lovely beautiful pile 3. The next truth to be revealed to you. Let's see. One more please. Thank you. So let me do it like so. So you have the Harlequin. True feelings are being masked. Nothing that the Queen of Swords cannot handle. Okay. And then you have the Callous. Rejuvenation and fulfillment. Okay. And then you have um, the Hourglass. Time is of essence. But it's going to be shown. Together with spirit, unseen, force, unseen forces watch over you. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Honey, whatever that is going to be seen, uh, the truth that is going to be revealed to you next, um, is something of an emotion. Somebody been holding their emotion, their true feelings, like really hidden that for you. And they are going to show you, but there is nothing of a harm. It's more like, oh, I have feelings for you or, oh, I, I love you. And that can be in different way in every, in, uh, like for everybody, you know, it can be your daughter. We will take a look where it is like family, your daughter, your son, your lover, your whatever friendship. We will see where later on when we look at the, um, um, the, 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 the astro cards. But for now, looking at what's next, this truth, it, it is something that if you just stand still and look at that person, you can see by their action already and by the way they are approaching you, what their true feelings is. You know, they perhaps are acting like this, but you know, it's like, it's like, um, you know, sometimes somebody acting kill, uh, uh, cold. <laughs> kill, kill is that yeah, but but they are acting cold like a true Aquarius can be. I don't know, but I'm getting a Aquarius as um example for you guys. Like an Aquarius, you can ask them. Okay, oh, you get a cup of water for me. They will complain the whole time on their way to get the cup of water and they will get you then even ice in it. You didn't ask for ice there, but they be like, oh. I know you like cold water. So it's kind of like I have to complain about it. So you don't think that I'm doing it with for fun, you know. But I even notice that you like your water with ice. So they even will put ice in it and a split of lemon and then giving it to you be like here, you know. <laughs> but the way they give it to you, you might think like, wow, rude. But if you've if you see, if you focus, if you notice, you will see that they have gone over that because they could have just give you a cup of water. But no, they have put ice in it. They have put a, a flash of um, lemon in it. So really, it's kind of like I am this person, this energy, this truth that's coming if you watch the action that they are doing, even if they are complaining, it's like, oh, wow, you are really considering me. Or, oh, wow, you are really thinking of me. Oh, wow, you are really observing me, you know? So it's 
going to be shown to you now that they will put more effort in it then this is something that they were trying to hold too tight on their chest on their heart but they are now ready to reveal it but you can notice it because they will reveal it in their own time but you can notice it if you embrace the um queen of swords kind of energy you can already sense and feel and see that behind that mask is a very kind person very nourishable person but always have to complain by acting like they don't give up and then overdoing it and be like here you know in that kind of a way i don't know if you guys know sugar from bts it's giving me that kind of energy <laughs> but um this is the energy of like uh really you think i don't pay attention but i'm paying attention but i'm even paying more of attention that i will see that things are happening in my surroundings and help other people but really helping unnoticed and i don't like that compliment kind of uh, energy is what it's giving me so uh, let's take a look uh, where you can find this truth okay <laughs> guess we take him those oh let me do one more because it's kind of like uneven <laughs> You know, sometimes we cannot do that. The, the, the table has to be something of even, you know. So you have for the next truth to be revealed where you have Gemini cross and pollinate together with 11th house community. Okay. And then you have oh <laughs> the fifth house passion together with descendant invitation. Okay. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. This person is a friend of yours. It's a friend of yours. This person you have communication with them friendly communication but this person has passions for you this person sees a partnership with you because if you look at the cards the 11th house is community is your friends is, is your friends and then with gemini is communication you know but with time they will let you know that they have more of a passion for you they see you more as a partnership because the descendant invitation is the seventh house is here is your first house and here is the seventh house is a, a, um, a cross of you like the person that sees you as a partnership you know and this can be in love this can be in business this can be in passionately having desires for you in that kind of a way but as i said i do think it's love though i do think there is somebody that you are in communication with you have a friendship with but this person is starting to see you more than friends but how can you tell somebody you know that they have kind of a more intentions for you more passionately wanting more a one-on-one -on -one time with you you know in that kind of a way they love the communication because the gemini is also in tarot the lovers you know so it's giving me like oh wow i really like this attention of you i really want to be more than just friends because they are feeling more they are starting to feeling more and you will notice it by the way they act they are trying to hide it though they are really holding that emotion really holding it try to hold it very tight to not to not express do not express it but you know with some with their action with the way they are doing stuff it's revealing little by little whatever they they were trying to hide it's getting starting to reveal that's the moon in reverse the moon upright like the moon uh, in this position like upright it's like oh you don't see it this is something that in the beginning you didn't see but now they it's like they cannot hold it any longer like you know it's it's as i said to another deck also it's like an uh, eruption of a volcano was it in this reading or another reading i don't know anymore but it's kind of like oh my god you know the pressure the pressure is getting pressure how is that tiktok going 
<laughs> what was it that she is saying? Like the pressure is getting precious. And the <laughs> I don't know. I will try to put it in. I will. Then you will hear it somewhere. But that is what I'm getting. I don't know. Do you guys know? That wow. To say? Like, the, the, pressure the pressure is getting worse. But that is what I'm getting for this situation right here. That it's they, they they can no longer hold it. And there is nothing their true feelings. They cannot they cannot mask it anymore. Especially because you are in a queen of swords kind of a vibration. You are you are cutting mask off you know you are seeing the truth it's being revealed to you you know so don't attack them with it you know let it be in their own time that they will reveal to you how they feel if this is somebody that you that you'll be like oh i want to know more of you i want you to like me more like give them a hint kind of a way but don't be the one to be like you like me, I like you, let's do something about it. Like, no, let it be in their own timing because they are trying to figure out, keep in mind, as you being a friend first and the communication is nice, they perhaps are trying to figure out if we become more, what will become of our beautiful friendship, you know? Like, perhaps they are only seeing the passion and the sexy side of you and they first need to figure out, are you partner material? So, yeah. Let's take a look at some tea leaves. Let's see what is it that you need more to know more about this situation. Let's see about this truth that is being revealed to you. Let's see. One more, please. Oh, that's two more. So let's see what you need to know more. You have Cain, pay attention to your health. Okay. Together with Gong, an excitement, a exci exciting event. Like this. And then you have Fox, screwness and resourcefulness, especially in business. And then you have the September month. That is the month that we are in right now. So it will all be revealed in the September month. Or it started in the September month. Or you will... Um, you will hear it in the September month if you are on a different timeline than, than I am at right now. And then you have end work achievement success. Together with skull, hidden secrets can harm you. Okay, my love. So for some of you, this is a secret that you are holding for somebody. And if you are holding this secret for somebody that you like them, you know, in, in time you will show what you really, what your true attentions are. But know that as, as I said to you that this person or that you are becoming like the queen of source, it might be that this person is also getting the getting to see your true feelings for them. They are going, they are trying, they are now figuring out something. They'll be like, okay, friends don't do this or that, you know, or why are you acting weird in suddenly you know so it might be that you are holding this secret for them but the truth is going to be revealed one way or the other looking at um pay attention to your health it's giving me for some of you like really um you know if you hold stuff too tight on your chest on your heart it can become stress you know so really um express your emotions express your feeling in whatever way that is write it if you are not ready to express it vocally to that person what you feel what you sense whatever that is write it down in a journal don't hold on to tie to it and be like oh my god some things you need to write down and so it can be put out in the universe kind of a way instead of holding it too tight because it's kind of a stress and stress can become disease and disease can become disease so really write it away or 
tell somebody like really uh, um, express your feelings and emotion with somebody that you trust you know whatever that it is that you are holding too tight on and also for people it might be that that person will suddenly become ill or there is something of 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 holding too tight on something that it cannot be as i said like a volcano it will erupt so it's like oh my god i cannot hold it anymore i'm, I'm getting sick of holding this secret you know <laughs> some people have that especially if it is something that is the truth that you need to know you know uh, for example let me tell you what I'm seeing right now. It's not for everybody. For example, your friend might know that your partner is doing his, his she, they, its business outside of your partnership. And they are holding that secret. They are afraid to tell you the secret. That to tell you that, hey, I saw that person in the club one day, you know. And it's like, oh, they are acting different around you because they are afraid to tell you the truth their feelings what they have seen what they have witnessed so they are carrying a secret with them that might hurt you and they don't want to hurt you but you already know there is something fishy with this friendship with this friend that is trying to act different suddenly not the way she he she the it used to act so for some of you that might be the truth that will be revealed that your friend knows something about your partnership um it might be that they are in the play of this situation, you know, but whatever that it is, they know that your partnership, if you have a partner, that they are looking outside. But that is the truth that will be revealed with time. They will tell you. And lots of times I know we will like don't shoot the messenger kind of a situation. We will blame them for not telling us the truth. And is this really the truth? Why do you say, like? have you recorded it you know lots of times we want to know more but honey this is something that will like boom comes to hit you in the face and what you do with it is and how you react to it is something that yeah it's for you how you want to manifest it you know in that kind of a way and for some of you i really see that um watch out when it comes to partnership and business with who you are working with in that kind of a way um, but everything is working nicely but you need to watch out but there's nothing you cannot handle since you are being watched over but you need to see people for who they are that's the thing that you need to really the next truth that is going to be revealed don't hide your head in the sand see people for who they are cut mask off like see what people's intentions is in that kind of a way okay so that being said my lovely beautiful pal three don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on another reading of mine bye bye <laughs>